Hello everybody, welcome to Vintage Modern Wedding Dress. I'm going to show you how to create a white wedding, wedding dress using tone. But first we have to ice our wedding dress cookie. Starting with a naked wedding dress shaped cookie. Outline both arms using stiff consistency icing. Being mindful to stay in the arm zones, begin icing each individual arm Use the scribe tool as necessary. Move down with the soft consistency icing and begin icing the lower portion of the wedding dress, keeping your icing as smooth as possible. Remember, we're working with soft consistency icing, not flood icing, so it'll take a little bit more effort to get that icing as smooth as you need it to be. Then move up and pipe the bodice portion of the wedding dress. Use the scribe tool to help shape the bodice of the wedding dress. Once the bodice is shaped, ice the waist area of the wedding dress. Using stiff consistency icing and a number zero nozzle, pipe individual decorative lines from the top to the bottom of the waist. Then pipe a decorative border on top of the border on top of the bodice at the intersection of where her chest lays. To have finished icing the cookie, allow the cookie to dry for eight to twelve hours. Our cookie has dried, so we can begin painting the wedding dress cookie. There is skin showing. Her arms and chest both are showing, so we're going to paint those first, omitting the chest area. It's a long story, but I accidentally painted a neck where a neck shouldn't be, and I'll be removing it a little bit later. So please ignore that area of her chest. Since we are using very little hues for our wedding dress cookie, we can truly focus in on the tones that we're going to need to use to develop the movement of our cookie. It is also going to help us develop the billowing folds of the bottom portion of the wedding dress. Paint in between the intersection of the top portion of the waist and the bodice of the dress with a light gray shade. Begin painting the individual folds using a light gray shade. We're going to develop these folds by layering our tone rather than starting with too dark of a tone. This will also aid us in keeping us from developing our tones too dark too quickly.
A really big tip that I can give you that is actually common sense, but we all forget it. The folds of the dress are going to take the most amount of time. I suggest after you have painted about five or six folds to stop for a few minutes, get up, walk around, and then come back. It's really hard to see an entire cookie when you're focusing so laserly on one section. And you do need to walk away to continue painting so that you can see the whole cookie. Paint a hard line at the bottom portion of the folds of the dress. Using your brush that's loaded with gray food paste, paint the center area in between the bodice, or in between the her breasts on the bodice. As you can see, I removed the neck, and I don't want to talk about it, and now I'm painting the area of her chest with the skin tone color we painted her arms. To give a little shimmer to the wedding dress, I'm going over the top of the bodice with snow white petal dust. Now let's add the decorative dragées, or the decorative beading to the wedding dress. Using your soft consistency icing, pipe a small bead. With a small pair of tweezers, attach the bead. Then use a scribe tool to coax the bead into place. Make sure you're following the direction of form as you place each of the beads in place. And we want to take these, these two millimeter silver dragées all the way to the other side. So we're going all the way from the left to the right with the silver dragées. Once all the dragées are on, you're going to want to take the opportunity while the icing is still wet to coax them into place. You won't be able to do so once the icing sets. I've decided to add two more dragées, one on the left side and one on the right. I think that's going to help in the illusion that the dress is actually 360 degrees and going around the cookie.
I hope you had as much fun as I did in creating this vintage modern white wedding dress cookie. If you would like to learn more about how to use tone to develop shape, form, and movement, please join Fifth Avenue's online cookie decorating school.